guys, it's Josh. Welcome back for more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Last time, we... Uh, well, we achieved quite a bit. We leveled up several of our Assassins. We... Oh, wait. No, we leveled up one of our Assassins. We recruited a new member, who also just so happened to be Ezio's sister, so she was sort of predisposed to loyalty to him anyway. But I guess he just wanted to make doubly sure. Um, we became the leader of the Assassin Brother, which is quite an achievement. I'm right here. Or how do you not notice you're in the leader standing right in front of you? And we took on a couple more assassinations, and we took on a bunch of treasure a finding. Found the last remaining feathers and got an achievement out of it. Much to my annoyance. That's where I wish it was, you know, an unlockable of some kind that wasn't an achievement. And, well... That's about really all the exciting stuff we did. Now we found a bunch of treasures as well. Plus, we completed a... And we completed another guild challenge, I guess, but... Mm. Go back to the Tiber Island, I head out so we can see what the guild crests that the rewards mentioned were. And actually is. I'm not even sure what room that'll be in, so... I guess we're gonna have to have a look. Look through the e base again to find out. Okay, so going into the main room, immediate thought is there's absolutely nothing different here. Coming into this room. There is a huge Painting of Micheletto. If again, spoilers for a later a scene. I mean, really. There we go. There's the Mercenaries Guild crest, apparently. So that is what we earned. The Mercenaries Guild Crest. The thing above the fireplace. Okay, I can work with that. It's tiny, but I can work with that. And then obviously nothing's changed in here and any of the other rooms, so... Let's go. Right, first stop... Oh, now that we're out, the hideout again is... Now I... I don't know what even happened there. There. I'm back there, so... Was your money? Uh, let's go repair some stuff. Yep, alright, that did need repairing. Well, I would hope so. But this is everyone's coin. Cool 
I find it hilarious that Ezio is actually getting a st that Ezio that Ezio gets a stake in every single business that actually goes on, and all he's he's using it for is buying in upgrades. He's in things. Oh, and I suppose he's actually, I suppose in a way he is returning it to the people with the, well, he's returning some of it to the people that were buying the landmarks and things, but truth that he's also making more money, so I don't know what to think about it, Zio. Is he greedier? And is he greedy? Yeah, but I just say greedy or I I don't even know at this point. Oh no. Please do. Uh, I've got six. All right, let's get back up there. I think it reconnected, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right, I really don't want to check right now because you know this is a bit. Again, this is actually being recorded on the ninth and of December, so. So I really am working on these things, things pretty far in advance. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun mission. Not as fun as our previous. This bit. Now, as you can see, they're all in the a bridge over there. Now, what better way to deal with a group of obviously armed guards? Eight of them, in fact. Well, I don't know. Oh. That's just resynchronous. That was that must have just been it reconnecting or something. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for people to go past. Then three, two, one, arrow storm. I knew it was going to be effective, but I didn't realize it was going to be quite that effective. If to be honest, that's actually amazing. Anyway, a new memory of Christina is now available. Ah, blah, blah. Is now available. <sighs> and honestly, it is the most. Tear Joker one of all, so Ah, you know tell whether we're gonna do it. And yes, it's literally right on top of that doctor, so but that's why the mark is actually showing a doctor instead of But we're heading in the right direction with that anyway, so we'll leave it at that. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to shove past you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Shift aside. Thank you. Everyone's so happy nowadays. I know I'm always there. I know I keep saying that, but it's it's so true. You can actually see everyone's doing a lot better. Everyone's happy. 
you know, it's hot woman. And stuff. Like, really? And, okay, quickly. Cancel the target. And... Now it's time to talk to this lady. The last Christina mission takes place during the Bonfire of the Vanities his DLC in Florence. Again during the events of the second game in the series. Manfredo, what happened? Um Destroying everything. Where is Christina? Manfredo, where is she? She ran. Well, this is going to be awkward. No! <laughs> what not? Damn. I, oh, that was going to be actually really funny. Well, yeah, obviously we're not going to make it there uh, this time, are we? Oh, I did. Okay, next time let's hit the other route. <laughs> And yes, this game treat this one treats us as wearing the the absolutely awesome, obviously, armor of Altair. This one mission. Christina. Ezio, don't you know? I've always been with you. <laughs> I wish we could have had a second chance. Damn. I don't know what it is about that moment, but it gets me every time. It genuinely brings tears to my eyes. God, poor Ezio. Christina did nothing to deserve that.
Right, well. After that sobering episode, another board flow collected. I mean, yeah, I kind of understand why he re why either Christina memories actually he were things we had to re actually earn the right to see because damn. I mean, seriously, just damn. I'm actually crying now. The entire thing and just gut punches you right from the beginning of that at memory. Even with the buggy thing where Ezio's armor didn't quite turn up. No, Ezio's model didn't quite animate like it was supposed to in the cutscene or something. Even considering that They're just the rest is the okay the rest of the yes the rest oh god okay I'm so choked up I can't even speak he probably the rest of the and the rest of them we were just gut punches you one and a moment after another. I mean, yeah, you're sort of... Um... <laughs> okay. You guys are going to chase you, right? Well, actually, no, I don't hit you because he didn't steal anything from me, so I don't know why I'm chasing him. Apparently, yeah, I am not. Fine. Didn't really want to. Didn't steal my money, so it's not my problem. What is it? Damn, that moment just hits. When, uh, the entire scene. It's really huge, as you reckon. We start to finish. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I can understand killing Christina's husband off like that because, as we, he haven't, and we don't really get enough time in, in with her, um, and and to be fair, he was supposed to be, and he was basically an obstacle, or between. In Ezio and, and Christina, but I mean, Christina didn't want to marry him. She could have gone with Ezio at the start of. And at the start of O2, we become an assassin with them. Um... And with something. just something simple. And yet. yeah, that would have been beautiful. God. This, I mean, this was beautiful as well, but. I really, you know, 
if she'd gone with them, it would have been beautiful, but in a less tear jerky way. I wonder if it's like that it exists, actually. I hope so. Anyway. On to a few other things. Yes, there are treasures and border flags on the Vatican. Well, not the Vatican, that's essentially the Vatican over there. And the Castel Sant'Angelo. Yes, there's a, a border flag right at the top of the Castello. There's a treasure chest there, and there's a border flag off to the right somewhere. But what we're interested in is this side, head of the bridge. We're going north of this episode. Excuse me. Excuse me. I said, excuse me. Am I thought you're deaf? But first, I want to look under these bridges. Because I believe under one of them is a particular troublemaker that we are going to want to deal with. Okay, maybe not. I can admit when I'm wrong. In this case, it would seem I'm wrong. That's fine. He's under Ibridge, and yeah. he's under Ibridge somewhere. There anyway. Yes, that hog one we beat up a few and uh, several episodes ago. If you manage to beat all of them, and if you find and beat up, not necessarily assassinate, but a punch a jaw of them, as so you can't really punch them all anymore. Then you'll get an achievement for beating them up. Arrows to the back. Hey, drop the hammer. And you? Just drop the spear. I don't have time for this shit. Able gods! Yes! This is where the Papal Guard actually appear! Whoa! Okay, now I'm going to I said... Die! No, you! Just don't get it! Do you, you stupid little man? I said die already, or I'll get even crosser. Now, are you going to die, or not? I didn't even get to finish my rant! Bloody brute. Heard of him. Now, if I hadn't called him a stupid little man, and if I had called him just a li stupid man instead of a stupid little man, then he might have, have lived long enough for me to finish my rant, so. Oh well. Wouldn't have been as funny. And into the moat you go. Clean up crew. Clean up crew. Operating on this bridge. Two down. 
Get the search. Need people. Three into the water. And you. Good mate. I'm just going over here. You know, it occurs to me if I'd waited a little longer, I could probably have killed the EP peoples with a an arrow swarm, but yeah, that would have just been less fun. And also, this way I actually know it counted as for the, the achievement. You did. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, silk. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. What? <laughs> Saved him from glitching out. What's my the Where's my thanks? You did. <laughs> oh god, I really hope this isn't the assassination I think it is. Oh no, not again. Yes, it is. Decline. I am not fond of that mission. We will come back later. Before it. Also, thank you for not booting me all the way back to Attack Ebrion. That would be really rude. Especially since I came all this way. Although I do believe that guard has actually respawned. Which is troublesome. Yoink! Ack! Ow! You gotta shoot me in the butt! Come on, come closer. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, come close so we can actually get room to assert your body when you're dead. Looks right. Okay. I'm just getting this, and I'm gonna get this jackass up here too. Well, I didn't need to shoot that other one. It was really... That was a waste of a shot if I had one, and when it was already dead. How's that for out of your sight?
suppose I should find a way to stay in shape, too. Also, fun fact about Itzia's age. By the end of this game, he is 48. Whereas his sister, whereas his sister Claudia, at the start of the game would have been, at the start of this game, she would have been 38. Despite looking exactly the same as she, he does all the way through, through two. And their mother, Maria, would be sixty-three. I actually don't know if anyone's gonna find that interesting but me, but there it is. I think it's interesting, so I'm gonna label it as interesting. interesting and it's trivia so that works next way. Anyway, there's two pieces of main treasure left that we're going for this video. Next I will probably take that, that uh, we'll probably take the assassin mission, the, ah, the assassination mission over this side, we'll probably take that, head out this uh, that one over there. We'll take that out this this video as well. For the next episode, I suppose it'll be time to do the one assassination mission, assassination mission that I really, really just dislike. Although with my track I record that if I say I dislike it, I'll do it in one and then one and the go anyway. Me. Hey? Ah, oh, piping I've got black pepper. Don't see that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. The next next video, yes, the next video will take out that mission and we'll go for the Romulus Lair as well. Alright. Let's find this damn cardinal. And I'm actually really, really going to better shake it down because it's a guy. I would be happy with you, being on the roof, and I don't really want to piss them off any further, so... But, um, yes. Remember the last video? Where I was talking about a great spot to kill papal guards? It's that bridge. If you're looking for a great spot to kill papal guards, then that's your spot, and then that's the spot. Not if you don't mind waiting for them to respawn. Otherwise, well, just take on the mission and kill two at a time. To get them to respawn quickly, here's a simple trick. Just quit the... and just after killing the four pair of them, just quit at the game. So exit the main menu, and then reload.
You know. Wow. That should not have been that easy. No, no. I'm not getting involved with you guys again. The last time I met with this school of 10 in Florence. 10 measly Florence. I, mean, I suppose I could have thrown them all there. I mean, in really. It's just sad. I scrabble. Watching them just watching them scrabble over such a measly amount. Anyway, only the cardinal that was killed that mission. I'm feeling actually relatively good about that, so I don't move from there, I got something again. Let's do this. Time to kill some papal guards. This is also a really good mission for that when they're getting making that mercenary challenge complete. But yes, um Yes, you can't lose any health squares at all no, during this mission. I don't actually know if I'm, it probably applies to falling from heights, so you have to be really careful about and, and you know, I wouldn't risk it just in case. So you have to be absolutely sure about where you're going to land before you jump. Like, like in this case, design being very careful because I don't want to risk having to restart. Okay. Yes, I'm kind of well aware it's a restricted flipping area. There, I know that. It's so. Anyway, the Vapor Guards are over there in the. that area. Okay, so. Guard 1, he is. Yes, I kind of know that's my objective now. Thank you. So far, so good. And it probably jumped out. That didn't work. Reset. Well, as you can see, they were treated as for one part. And to be honest. Okay, 
can do parts, and two parts. Five. One. There are other guards down there as well. And two. And actually the most infuriating. Air signal six of bloody long to recharge. Now. Dad did. You see it? So is he. Punctures throw the well and and thrust. Just like that. But that is even as well as that sort of general area. Excuse me. Pardon me. I swear that guy one of those guys in the red robes, the Cardinals, looked like Mr. Bane. Maybe I'm seeing things. Okay, well, either way. Kill that guy. Climbing up the wall, I'm climbing up the wall. Climbing, climbing, climbing the wall. Oh, and yes, we also completed an assassin guild challenge, so yeah, that's kind of neat. Me too. Earth Storm! When you are. <laughs> A what? Oh, screw you, mate. I'll be honest, I didn't think the papal guards were actually clever enough to climb a level wall. Or a ladder. I didn't think they could not make heavy armor or either, so... Wow. I really have misjudged them. Anyway! Ow. There it is, something in my eye. Anyway, after that, well... This episode, this episode's been certainly interesting, so... I think... It's safe to say that we're going to end it off here. Next time on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, we go once again across this bridge and actually finish this mission. If you've enjoyed the video, like rating is very much appreciated. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any comments. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And other than that, well, my social media links are in the usual place, so in the description box down below if you want to keep to me. Um, okay, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Until then, Josh out.